Hello and welcome to my Blender video tutorial. In this video tutorial I will be teaching you how to create this realistic ocean you see in front of you in cycles. Um, so you can see, so it's going to be a series. Um, so the part one will be just doing like the, I call these ocean plates, the ocean, not the materials, just the ocean positioning of the camera, lighting and the ground plane that we have and then let me just go 3D view then I will be so here you can see the ocean plates as I call them and the ground plane and the lighting well there is no lighting um, so and then I'm going to just and then in the second part I'm going to do the materials the HDR and then maybe we'll touch on some compositing to add in a bit of a vignette and a um, and maybe some color correction so without delay let's begin I'm gonna fire up a new blender instance Okay. Now, I'm just going to switch on my screencast keys. Okay. So, um, to make those plates, you get a ocean simulation simulator in the modifiers panel. So, we're going to take this, we're going to delete the cube, and we're going to add in a plane. Go to the modifiers, add in an ocean simulate here and you can see we have a ocean simulation so change the spatial size to 20 the um, the choppiness to 2 and then the scale to 0.2 and that will sorry I have block sinuses so I don't sound the best, but um, so we change the scale to 0.2 and the finally the resolution to 30. It's going to slow down your computer since I'm recording, it's going to slow it down quite a bit, I think. Yeah, it's a bit jerky. Just a, a tip that I read off if it's very slow that I read off Blender Artists you can go to display and you can disable outline selected and it will speed it up quite a bit um, but for the tutorial to show what I show you what I have outlined it definitely makes a difference to show you what I have selected I'm gonna keep that enabled but just keep that in mind if it slows down a lot so now I'm going to go to top view numpad 5 to go to orthographic and we are going to duplicate this plate and it's going to slide on your computer. So now, get it to overlap just a little bit over the the axis. So about there, that's perfect. So just like that, get it to overlap. Now go to the um, resolution. I'm just going to change that to 20 for now to speed up things. And the we need it to go because if we look at our other reference, you can see that it gets wider the further away it goes. So to do that. Ooh, very slow. To do that, we go and repeat X here. So do that. Um, top view again. Oh, whoops. And just drag it in the middle like that. That's perfect. And now that looks like everything. Let's just check. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to go to front view or side view actually uh, wireframe I'm just going to 
now we drag this down a little a slight just so that it's not overlapping grab Z more okay there we go that's nice if we okay so we haven't positioned the camera so let's do that now so I've got a front view numpad 1 perspective view and I'm going to position the camera right here uh, use control alt numpad 0 to do that to position it to whatever view you are in um, you're going to have to play with the camera angle a bit uh, I'm just going to select the camera and move it over a little just don't want the edge over there to be seen. I'm going to do it a little more. Oops, a little bit too much. Okay, perfect. So, we got the camera. Also, just delete the light. I know I said I was doing light in the next part, but actually, Control z that. We're going to need it to do preview renders. So, Control z with my light. No, please, thank you. Um, okay, so keep the light in. What's it doing? Okay. Um, must have pressed Control Z too many times. Okay, so keep the light in. Don't delete it, sorry. And now, uh, let's do the third plate. So, the third plate, Shift D again, and it's going to slow down your computer even more. Um, why? Oh, slow. Um, and again, a bit overlapping. That's fine. And go change the resolution. This time, it's going to be ten. There we go. Um, and then the repeat X. Make that three. Um, I'm going to actually split this viewport and uh, just go to camera view in this viewport so that we can see just how accurate it is, how right it is. So drag this across. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, perfect. And you can see there in the camera view that it looks good. Um, just remember the to pull this ocean down a little so pull it down okay what's it look like I'm gonna pull it down a tiny bit more okay there we go that looks good so far so there you can see it's already um I've seen that I would usually work with a number of three, but um I decided that I thought five looked better, so I'm just using five um, um so shift D again duplicate it why we have played four almost done actually it's going to be a very short part one i think it'll be a longer part two um so but i'm not going to change my thing i will do part two as soon as i can and i'm going to go here repeat x and for plate three if you're wondering how i know all these options by the way I have a sticky note on my other screen. Uh, play repeat X and it's four times. The spatial size is 20 again. Resolution is five. So just change that. The further away, you don't need that much detail because I mean, you don't need it. Very simply. Um, choppiness one. And leave the scale at point two. 
and just drag this over a little so that it looks right in the camera uh, a little to the right there we go that's perfect okay so now we have four plates just need to move this one down again um, <coughs> That's good. Okay, so there you can already see it's starting to look like the other one. I'll show you now. Just gonna drag it a little more down. And I did a foot, I did a Blender Guru competition um, a few weeks ago. Ah, wait, sorry, I'm lying. A few months ago, and I created an ocean for it and. One of the critiques was an ocean horizon is always flat. Now, I don't know who said it, I can't remember at all. Um, I just, at the time I was making that, I think I was staying at the ocean, so I had my reference. So, it depends on, I think it depends on where you are, but where I stayed, the ocean wasn't always flat at the horizon. Um, but you can use depth of field to create that effect. Um, which we are going to use um, so just it depends on you if you want the ocean flat if you do you can have like a very you can have even a plane probably um, at the back for this last plate or you can have it as the plate after this but I'm I don't I'm, I, I, I'm going to keep my ocean I'm not going to give it a flat horizon because um, I have an I have a feeling that because it's not going to have a texture, you know, like I mean, like these like bumps in it almost. Can I say? Um, I have a feeling it's not going to reflect the sky and the sun right. Um, so I'm just not going to do it. But you can experiment with that. Um, I'm just a little pressed for time here. So um, this, by the way, is repeat. Five and a choppiness of one resolution of five and a scale that's the important thing point zero five and actually I'm lying that ocean is flat okay so maybe an ocean is flat oh wait uh, it's the camera clipping. So select the camera and go to camera options and clipping and change the end. And we'll see more. Um, clipping is basically your horizon. So yeah. Um, I'm going to now zoom out a bit. Sorry, my mouse wheel isn't working very nicely today. So I just have to use numpad. Um, now I'll move this across once again. No more that way. Oh, very slow now. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so that is actually oh yeah wait. Always almost forget this. Just move the plate down a little. Um, so move it down. Just like that. Okay. So now you get your flat horizon for those of you who want it. And for those of you who don't want it, I think it adds a bit of realism actually. Um, it looks like a so I'm going to save. I should have been doing that all the time. So just gonna save it as ocean. Oopsie. Ocean. Okay. And so now there's still one more part. So shift A add plane 
and this is going to add the realism that you get and the reason why is I'm adding in a plane is because an ocean has a sea bottom it doesn't go right through and you can't see the other side of the world in the ocean so of course you need the ground to give it that realistic bottom of the ocean look so bigger the better just make sure you can't see it on the horizon and then just rotate it a little also and I'm going to drag it a little up zoom in okay that looks good it's getting close there but it's not touching and okay so looks nice so I'm gonna save it now it's actually I'm gonna scale it up a little more um, like that just so it goes past the edge um, and now I'm just going to change the cycles render engine and I'm just going to delete this lamp I'm gonna not delete it sorry I'm going to change it to a area I'm just going to do a render so let's see what it looks like okay this is going to take a while okay not just okay just going to save it okay so while that's rendering I just want to tell you a few things about the other one this um, this image was a thousand samples uh, cycles sorry um, and it took me about two and a half hours to render um, so so that plane we added is actually a reflective plane so it's going to reflect the HDR the the um the the light that comes through the ocean it's going to reflect it back up and I just found it creates a nice effect um, more realistic so this looks like it's going to take a while so I'm just going to pause this and resume when it's finished see you now okay so it's finished rendering it has to be the most um has to be a bit of the ugliest render I've ever done so um, I'm just going to re-render it go to the world tab and I'm going to switch on ambient occlusion uh, note this is I think it's only available in blender 2.63 and up um, so yeah and I'm just going to change that background a little lighter for now um, and then the reason I chose the area lamp I thought I'd just explain is because in real life light comes from a shape it doesn't come from a point in the middle of nowhere so that's why and I'm just going to delete the area lamp because I have ambient occlusion on one and I am then going to render it again and let's see what it turns out like this time So. Ugh. Okay, save, and I will be back now, now with a hopefully more, much nicer result. It's not going to look realistic, of course, but nice. Okay, see you now. Okay, so I still haven't got it right. It looks wrong, so I'm. I'm not going to re-render it again for this video. I will probably re-render it for um, end result. Um, so just you know to show what I've what you're going to make. Um, so this is part one. Um, so thank you for watching part one. Oh, wait, actually, how much time do we have left? Maybe we can re-render it again. 
Yeah, we have a bit more time left. I'm going to re-render it. Sorry if I'm irritating you a little. 0.7 ambient occlusion. I'm going to try and re-render. Um, save first. And then re-render. And once again, I'm going to uh, pause. Okay, see you now. Hopefully, it's the last time I pause. Okay, it didn't work again. That's because probably I need a light. But anyways, um, I'm not going to bother with it now. This is absolutely irrelevant when we um, start with the lighting and all of that with HDRs. Um, none of this is going to be relevant. So it's fine um, with, uh, with, it doesn't matter what you, you can switch it off for like it. It doesn't matter um, because... This is just temporary lighting. We're going to start all over again with um, when we do our final lighting. So don't worry about it. Um, it's fine. I will. Um, so this is the first part of my tutorial. We are done with the first part. Um, part of my series. Sorry. Um, and it's actually kind of nice to make a series. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, please rate and subscribe to my channel. Um, I don't like begging people to subscribe, but it's really nice seeing like in my email you have one more subscriber. Um, and keep the views coming. And okay, I will bring the part two as soon as I can might start recording it today um, and thanks for a lot for watching that goodbye